one of your face please. So the ocean race played a role very much for us in, in starting our own campaign, uh, which we call the Ocean Challenge, the Malizia Ocean Challenge. I went to a um, public speech in Kiel at the Geoma Institute, where one of the Ocean Race affiliated scientists was explaining their program during the Ocean Race. And I, I was really uh, amazed by it. And after his, his speech, I went down to him and said, look, we have a pretty similar boat. We're also going to come to these races. We want to carry on with what you start doing. And then we found, uh, found the support to actually be able to, to put the same kind of equipment and laboratory on board to continue the, um, the scientific work that has started in the past uh, Volvo Ocean Race. Welcome inside in the dark hole. So this is usually covered with a white slider. It's very handy for stacking. Now we took the cover off so we see the ocean lab underneath. The, uh, the ocean lab is similar to the ones used that have been used in the last Ocean Race. Um, this has been a, a slight development with a CO2 bottle for calibration, automatic, automatic calibration. And with the one design, Imoka Keel, it is capable of running 24-7. And um, this can measure water temperature, salinity and CO2. So we don't measure the microplastic because that would mean we need to manually interfere with the, with the machine, which I can't do in solo mode. But uh, for us, very important is the uh, CO2 in the ocean. Um, the ocean play a, an important role in climate change. They absorb at least a third of the man-made CO2 and all the heat energy of global warming goes into the ocean, changes the ocean uh, biology and chemistry. And so that's why this data is really important for the, for the international science community. But once I start a race, I forget about this. This is covered. I don't even see it. I don't hear it. Um, and then we speak about it again when I come to the finish. Well, this is one of the very few boats that uh, produces all electricity um, with solar and hydro, I mean hydro generators. Yeah, with this combination on this race boat works that we can sail across the Atlantic and we can even sail non-stop around the world without using any fossil fuel.